How do I know if someone is connected to my home network? How do I know if someone jumps on my wireless access point without authorization? Or how do I see real time which IP addresses are handed out by my DHCP server at home? We're going to take a look at a solution called ARPWatch that runs on Linux and it helps to solve all of those problems. ARPWatch is a great utility that can be easily installed in a Linux operating system. And it basically works off the premise of the ARP request, which all network devices go through when they are acquiring an IP address on any network, home network, enterprise network. So ARPWatch, what it does is exactly what the name sounds. It's very intuitive. It watches for those ARP requests. ARPWatch sees that activity. It notifies you that this device has connected to the network and it logs that device along with the hardware address, also known as the MAC address, as well as which IP address that it has been assigned. It also looks at the OUI lookup table, which is a vendor list of MAC addresses. So not only do you get the information of what is the MAC address, the IP address, and other pertinent information from that ARP request, it also lets you know what the manufacturer of the device is. So essentially what you will see is that you can have visibility uh, to all network activity, new devices that connect to your network. So extremely handy. So the first thing that we're going to do is install a simple SMTP program that allows our ARPWatch host to send those ARP watch uh, requests to our email address. So the first thing that we need to do is just have a virtual machine uh, ready and I have an Ubuntu 20.04 box that I'm gonna be installing ARP watch on. But first we want to install the uh, simple SMTP program. And to do that, I'm going to just copy and paste a command in and it's apt-get install s SMTP. And this pulls the uh, package from the official Ubuntu repository and installs our SMTP program. Now the next thing that we need to do is just a bit of quick configuration for the SMTP program. So I'm going to go to Etsy directory, we're going to scroll down to S SMTP and there's an S SMTP config file. I'm going to edit that file and get this in focus for you guys. I want to edit that file and there are just a few things that you want to uh, keep in mind uh, with this file. I want to paste in some configuration for this SSMTP file and overwrite what's there by default and go over this with you guys just briefly. So we see we have an email address uh, for root and actually you can use Gmail for this and bounce it off of the uh, secure Gmail SMTP.gmail uh, smart host. So our SMTP relay. So we're gonna place that for mail hub. And then we're gonna rewrite the domain. Actually, this is commented out, so you don't need that. You can set a host name. And then also you want to make sure if you're bouncing off of Gmail uh, to use the uh, use TLS and use smart TLS parameters uh, to pass those along. If you're just simply using plain text port 25 if you have an uh, on-premises uh, SMTP server you can leave that configuration out. For auth user uh, if you're going to use Gmail or something that requires that uh, you can put your email address for the username and then also your auth pass uh, for your account. Now keep in mind if you have two-factor turned on you will need to create an application password and use that for this configuration. So now that we have that configuration, we're just going to save this file and we're going to close and move on to installing ARPWatch. So now we're back at the command line. So what I'm gonna do is just clear my terminal so we can see things better. And we're gonna paste in the command to install ARPWatch. Very similar, uh, sudo apt-get install ARPWatch and we're going to uh, let this run and get ARPWatch installed. And once again, it's going to be a very uh, quick installation like SSMTP. 
so there we go it's installed so now the next thing we need to do is we need to configure ARP watch so to do that I'm going to hop back over using win SCP and I'm going to go back to the Etsy directory notice that we have uh, and let me refresh uh, and we should see an ARP watch folder and we do so notice we have the ARP watch folder but the first thing that we need to do is simply create a new ARP watch configuration file so I'm going to call this ARP watch.conf ARP watch.conf and we're going to click OK and this comes up as a blank file so I'm going to just paste in uh, some configuration here uh, so you can see what needs to be in place for the ARP watch configuration so as you can see I'm just pasting in some default configuration here but the key is at the very bottom so you need to uh, look at your interface name and then pass the dot or slash dash a and dash n parameter and those allow uh, passing in your subnet so this tells ARP watch that we're looking at this interface and we're looking at this subnet to see those ARP requests coming across and then the dash m parameter is simply for your email address and this configuration uses the SSMTP configuration to send you the email. So we're just going to simply save this file now that we have that configuration in place and close that out and move on to a couple of other small steps that we need to do to complete the configuration. So now all we have left to do is just a couple of other commands that we're going to use systemctl command line utility. So and I'm going to paste those in just to show you guys what those are. The first is systemctl enable ARP watch and then at your interface name. So keep in mind whatever your interface name is for your virtual machine, that is what you're going to place in this configuration. So we're going to say systemctl enable and we see the sim link created and then we're going to uh, start the ARP watch uh, service listening to that interface uh, using the configuration that we already have in place so I'm going to do that and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, tail the syslog so we can see what's going on so and I uh, actually saw and you probably saw up here too that uh, I had bad credentials so I had to uh, take a look at those credentials and correct those so this is a great way to troubleshoot that so uh, what I did is I corrected the credentials and we now see sent mail for ARP watch and again it's using a Gmail account now what does that uh, a Gmail alert look like uh, well I just kind of uh, tucked the Gmail uh, screen up in the upper left hand corner so you can see so now I have gotten numerous alerts so what you're going to have is uh, just continuous alerts as your ARP watch box builds that database of existing network uh, uh, devices that you have on your network and once those are in the database that it keeps then the only alerts that you will get are new alerts that come in uh, showing that activity I want to just uh, show you uh, briefly what that uh, looks like so you get the detail of the host name, the IP address, the interface it came across on, the Ethernet vendor, as well as the manufacturer. So again, these are VMware VMs that are coming across, um, but you get the point. You get that visibility to those addresses that are coming across. So ARPWatch is just a phenomenal tool uh, from a, both a cybersecurity standpoint as well as providing real utility value uh, to your home net network or even enterprise network. Uh, it helps you to maintain visibility of all those devices that come across uh, as traffic. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope it uh, gives you some thoughts about how you can further secure your home network. Look forward to uh, bringing more videos to you guys soon.